How you guys doing today? I'm Shinigami Tavris. We're doing D&D today. Uh, last we left our heroes. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by heroes. But... Some of them. Two are dead. Some, some of them are dead. Two are dead. We completed our mission. Volo gave us a house. We're about to go for a tour. I mean, there you go. I have the cliff notes. <laughs> also, true half orc. <laughs> Man, the, it was a half orc wizard. No, that's, not yeah, yeah, just, that's not what killed me. I don't no, care. It was Extreme prejudice against half orc wizard. <laughs> Put the half orc in the tavern that beat the other dude senseless. Yeah, true. He was hot. She's got permanent VIP status there in her place. When, and we haven't even seen the inside yet. <laughs> no. Okay. <clears throat> That's all my notes. We're They're just so good. Um. See, even he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> after, <laughs> after a couple of minutes. Volo comes back um, with a signed and documented uh, deed to the uh, to the building. Um, he hands it over to you, uh, and he uh, looks at the key one last time and goes, "Well, I guess you owned it." Others are still in a bit of shock. Losing two friends. I mean, this is the next day. Okay. The grieving process takes a while. Okay. He's in denial. Oh, that's Dude, a Jason died. I, it would be at least two days before I got over it. Dude, you've already forgotten their names. It's, I mean, it was my cousin, so I'm torn up. But. It's true. It was a joke about your age, but. No, it hasn't been a month yet. <laughs> so, what do you guys do? Get up the key. Go inside. Yeah. <clears throat> this uh, this banner is four stories tall. <clears throat> There's balconies, a turret, five chimneys. The abandoned building is one of the grandest in the alley. If it wasn't for the fact that it hasn't been kept up in a while. Uh, you open the door, and inside, on the first floor, is an old tavern. It is an old bar. The tap room is filled with broken furniture. Tarnished silverware is scattered throughout the place. Um, it's in horrible disarray. Wonderful. We're gonna have to clean this up. Olo just gave us a spot. Yeah. Two bad nineteen eighties no cleaning music montage. You get half price. And then all of a sudden, five <laughs> minutes later, we're sitting down. At least this place is clean. <laughs> no, that's not how this is gonna work. <laughs> no, because. Let's just go ahead and say this. We gotta fix the floorboards, we gotta get some silverware in here, we actually have to get contacts and liquor in here, we would have to get furniture, we would have to polish up the glass and all the wallpaper, we need and to paint job on the outside, we would need to get some staff. And this is just some shit that I personally know. So are you guys actually exploring the place? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um is there a basement? Is this the lower floor, uh, under floor, or anything like that? Uh, yes, there is. Um, if you look at the map, there is a little... This one? Yep, that's where Brian got it. Oh, okay. Um, if this you goes to... up. Yep, ah. so to go up, you're, you cannot access the upstairs without oh, going outside. up. Okay. Round the outside. 
Around the outside. Outside, down the alley, and then up the back of the uh, building. Huh? Well, that seems dangerous. No, not at all. We'll check that in a well, second. We'll check the base. Our thieving first. friend is gone, so. Oh. One of them. Uh, you can also go out the back door to get there. Okay. Uh, so you're going to check the basement out? Mm -hmm. uh, the basement looks like this way. In the basement, you find roughly um, 24 different cats. Why? They're Check them all to see if they're empty or, or... They are all full. Hmm. How much yeah. do the cast play, roughly? Um, one person with at least a 10 strength can get the cast up without a problem. Uh, if you have less than a 10, it will take two people to get it up there. Okay. Uh, How many casts could somebody with 20 carry? Uh, I need because of the size, size of this. I need two people. Um, he can carry two, I can carry one, but they're probably thinner. You now. can easily, you can easily carry one if you have two people, no matter what. One person, it is a struggle. It's still not a roll, but it is. Unless it's two I have wizards, Western Ten Strength. I mean, it's, a, it's a struggle one way or another. Unless it's two people that each have a four strength. I Damn mean, wizards. That two people, two people together are guaranteed with the like rolling percentages to succeed on getting a cast up by themselves. So, well, you know. Theoretically. Are there any cats? I'll tap one of them. Okay. And I just like pour a little onto my hand and smell it. It and smells it sour. horrible. Yeah. Um, at one point it was probably wine. But now it's vinegar. <laughs> but now it is a like it's it's a it's like a grape vinegar. I will find a use for it. <laughs> Shall we go check up here? Sure. Yeah. All right. Upstairs. I'll put it this way. This, your map that you guys have will take up the whole table. Yep. Oh, awesome. wow. Uh, and it is, like, there's Sections. spots all the way to the other end of that map. Welcome to the second floor. Do we see any way to get, or do I see any way to get into the tower thing you were talking about? Uh, from the second floor? Yeah. So when you come in from the second floor, it's on the back side. Right, side over. right here. Yep, there you go. Uh, I color-coded all of the stuff. So the yellow is the furniture that is broken in the downstairs area. Oh, is the bar still intact, though? The bar is still intact. Okay. Um, everything that's in the furniture area can be repaired. Um, some of it does need to just be replaced. The red is the fireplaces. Okay. Uh, purple are staircases or entrances up and down. Um, brown. brown are doors. Blue are windows. Uh, and then, is that a red? Orange. Orange. That's Orange the balcony. Are... Yeah. Okay. Balconies. So, that should be all of the colors that we need. So, you come into the main, in, yeah, second floor. Uh, it's a main hall. It is barren. 
doesn't look like anybody's been here for a while. Uh, I'm gonna come through on this balcony and check. Yeah, that's a room. In the balcony. Well, so this oh is yeah, balcony, into so this room. Here's the room entrance. Door here, door here, door here, door here. Where you at, old man? Hello again. Um, just seeing if we notice anything really about broken clutter. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You tell me if you find anything. I'm going to get started down the stairs. Okay. And I'm going to start getting rid of all the broken shit. Okay. So you're going back down the stairs and yeah. working in the I'm going to go ahead and room. start working, get rid of some of the broken furniture. Any of the easily repaired stuff, I'll leave it in to see if we might want to keep it. But the stuff that is scattered beyond repair, I'll go ahead and start taking outside. Okay. So he's working on... Sorting out junk from salvage the mill. Yep. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Um... There are more sparks. I will yeah. cast. Mending, I'll start working on this one. I'll cast mending. There's nothing on this There's nothing. Oh, okay. there's nothing on this one. Next floor, then. Okay, next floor. Yep. Always... Oh. Okay. Uh, because here's the answer. Uh, the privies were on the second floor? Nope. Oh, it was on the third. Gotcha. Nothing else here. There's a bucket shit. Is that it? Is that what? The shit house. No. It looks like it has a ladder or something. So what's all above this? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Okay. Uh <laughs> how bad is the ladder? One sec. <laughs> Bitch, you gonna die. Does an at 20 hit? <laughs> roll a perception roll belt. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> Starting off the night strong. What we got? I think that's a three. I don't know. <laughs> that, my good friend, <clears throat> is a four. Is a four? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shit, war. I'm regal rolling. So, no. uh, you're going up the, the ladder that's. I was going to check it first. Okay. Because. I mean, this entire place is falling apart, so. Okay. I want to make sure the ladder's sturdy. It seems sturdy. I'll carefully test it. Like, first run was good. Ooh. I'll just carefully try and make my way up. Okay. Uh. Ezra. Let's check this room over here. Completely empty. You go up the slowly go up the ladder. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. There you go. That's all you need is right there. That's all we need. Here's your room. Wait a second. There's, it's just a tiny little spot. Yep, yeah. it's got, if you look, it's got windows all the way, almost all the way around. It's got windows. It's, it's like the right perfect here. make out point. Yeah. Well, I can right. sit in a spot to meditate and do. Hmm. 
They're nosy neighbors. They're nosy neighbors watching a big muscly man with a giant mustache carry broken furniture out of the That's building. just covered in body oil. It's covered. Oh, no, wait. We did have a long rest, so I'm no longer covered in blood. Alright, uh, so. <clears throat> yes. Belt's on. Yes. All of a sudden, yes. something hits you in the back of the head. You take two blood damage. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Can I spot what around me hit me in the back of the head? Uh, give me a perception. Twenty. <laughs> yeah, that bitch rolled too. <laughs> um, it went up and over. So it's part of a, a chair leg. Broken. Uh, it wasn't there earlier. It was like laying on the ground. Let's see. <laughs> Toss it out. <laughs> the rest of the trash. Yep. Continue on. Okay. No one else up here. I'll head back. Okay. You're gonna work your way back down? Yeah, I was gonna go to this floor next. Okay, you're gonna, gonna go back, back down, down and then go up the staircase? Yeah. Okay. And just check yes. out these rooms. Nobody found the bathroom yet. I right, think it's an ounce of how felt that. <laughs> Nobody found the bathroom. The man in the room. Uh, Kelsier, what's your AC? One room shit. 17. Or 15, sorry. You're getting assaulted by the stealthiest squatters. Uh, or the house is haunted. Who knows? Take one bludgeoning damage. Because a rock hits you in the back of the head. You have been assaulted by Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> It'd be more than one HP. Also, bonus to extremely light that hand. I'm going to look around and see if I can see who threw it. Uh, give me a perception. Ezra just asked it. <laughs> Pretty much. That's an 11. Nope. Don't see it. Don't see anything. It's actually like. I love how I bacon. wasted my 20. Downstairs. Like 50. Okay. Uh, are you searching the whole. Area. I was just peeking into these rooms to see what was in there. Okay, they're both like Okay. Basically, every room up uh, above the first floor is like the okay. only floor that has any type of furniture or anything in it. Was the bar? Was the bar? Okay. And it's about to have nothing. So it's got it's got uh, tables that are still. I'm working on that. <laughs> Balthazar might get pissed from things hitting him in the back of the head and throw a table. <laughs> Continuing my cleanup. Continuing your cleanup. You're going to go help him mend things yeah. that can be mended? Yeah. Fix the wall. So I'm mending doesn't it. help on a lot of things. So. It's more than a foot. Yeah. Damage and it needs more XP. Yep. Mm -hmm. But we can use it where we can. Yep. We can use it where we can. So cut a couple of corners. <laughs> so you'll get a couple of chairs. Now we're going to have mismatched prepared. furniture. That's just tacky. Um, most of the tables that have been money. like. If they've got splits in them, you're getting the split to, to go away. Um, what are you doing while they're doing that? Uh, I'm going to make my way back downstairs to help them. Okay. Nobody has found a shitter. Oh, God. You're going to shit in the corner like Anna. <laughs> you're going to shit in the corner like Anna. It's kind of like Star Trek. It's just in the corner. Don't universe only going forward because we can't find reverse. I don't know where that's from, but that was hilarious. Uh, um, Dr. Bob? You know. Sorry. Who's home? 
Tony was vibrating. Mine's doing the whole like charge and charge and charge. Uh, and charge. Uh, That's what I get for having a shitty charge. It's coming down through. I'm like rubbing it back and forth. Hey guys, did any of you get a rock thrown at you? Mm. Something? Someone? Well, the rock, but I found this. Hold up, my actual hair leg. Oh. I was on the. Top four, and I got a rock hit in my head. I'm just throwing shit out the front door into the lawn. Okay. Uh, give me a perception. Eleven. As you toss, like, one of the broken chairs, it covers, and then it comes back towards you. And it misses. Uh, I don't think that's important. No. We need to talk. Throw it back? Yeah. It covers again and comes back. I'm going to try and catch it. Uh, give me a. We're playing catch. Check. I finally yeah. have a child. <laughs> 20 on the die. Okay. That's good, because, like, if you would have missed, it would have hit you. Can we go for the free? I don't think we can get through this one. <laughs> Who's there? I think the chair wants to be taken. But it's a piece of junk. Why are they feeling? What, are you going to name the table now? Or chair, whatever it is? Table it. Table it and share. Um, <laughs> in my reading, do you think I've come across any tales or something like this? Or? Uh, give me a history check. I think we need to go from the freezer to help us exercise this place. Sure, go just a bit. Are you stat wise? He's average. <laughs> For a comedic effect, oh, though. 15. Oh, never mind. He's below average. He's a retard. I am no. not. Yeah. I'm not Grog level. He's just, just a little. Is little. Well, you can go 30 feet and sit down. Just walking. <laughs> We're not that slow. Okay. So, uh, 15? 15. Uh, you've read of, like, ghost haunting places and stuff like that. For the most part, like, it's But not really stuff that a lot of wizards read about. Right. Especially <clears throat> necromancy. Mm -hmm. um, we need to it's just really late to get it. Uh, they didn't get their mouth full of plastic for about nothing. <laughs> well, that's I broke it. We need a free <laughs> Love the heart. Yeah. 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 Like that. Really adds the ambiance. Weirdest horse and carriage I've ever heard of. <laughs> How many horses do you think it has? Five hundred at least. Balthazar, I think we need to go find maybe a free. I'm just standing there at the doorway playing catch with the damn chair. After your third throw, oh. I guess for sure. Aww. Hey, 
show yourself. No response. Nope. No one would have. It'll probably let me go. You want to work on finding out what? Well, see if I can go for this. Uh, That's research. what I've been doing the entire time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna go to like a temp or something and see if I can find somebody to help us deal with any spirit. Okay. <clears throat> You're gonna continue to leave the room. You're gonna continue to leave. I might pretend to ghost you. <laughs> <laughs> come back unconscious. You guys are going to come back, and I've just got a whole bunch of dapper looking ghostly ethereal guys like, I don't know what to serve. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as you are traveling through the town, you hear coming from. Uh, down the road, people screaming, Look out! It's, it's coming! You're going to look? Yeah. Uh, coming down the road is a wagon that otherwise might haul crates of food to market, but it's been capped with a crude wooden turret. The carpentry evident here is, is suspect. Uh, the turret is comprised of old boards and rusted shields. Um, wherever gaps might exist, more wood has been hastily nailed onto it. There are multiple slits in the walls of the wagon, and its cap allows for the passengers to see out into the street. Uh, there are small dead animals that have been nailed to the wheels, uh, and the sad corpses uh, turn slowly as the wheels lurch forward. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You guys are coming from that direction. And for the stand in for the Excuse wagon. Because <laughs> you never got to use it. Oh, God. And After it. What the hell is this thing? Wagon turret. Dead animals nailed to the wheels. Obviously. Uh, I need initiative rolls. Uh. I need an initiative roll for each. Um, not me or not me. You're not there. Okay. I didn't know if this is like right outside yeah. or what. Nope, this is down the road. Okay. You chose to stay. I was told to stay. You chose to stay. Uh, 25 to 20. I really? Uh, 15 to 20. Oh, that would be a 15 for barrel moving and chair moving for me. Um, 10 to 15? 14 to 13. Okay. Uh, 14. Oh, did it turn off again? Oh. It, it does. I need to get the control in here too. Uh, 10 to 15? 6. Oh, no, 10 to 15. Oh, 6. six. six. So you got 6. And you're the last on the list, so 14, 13, 6. 6. Um, what? Uh, so that is, so anything that's green is grass. Oh. Put that in the middle of the, uh, get to be catchy. Um, 
there's a few trees in the grass area that do not have uh, miniature trees. They will give you cover if need be. Let's just throw Pause. these out. Uh, and your character is on this one. Yep. yep. There we go. The, uh... Wow. You got a 15. I was like, how the fuck did you ask Damn, it tied with the guy that's cleaning out the mansion. <laughs> so, it falls further into the... Uh, it only moves... Uh, 20 feet. Okay. There is no god here. It has an X. Uh, what languages do you speak? Uh, common and orc. Common and orc. Uh, Kelsier, what's your language? Uh, Ron Tech. Look, I just had quite a few. <laughs> okay, he's gonna get buried in behind the mansion. Languages and traditions. Oh, languages. Uh, common, draconic, elvish. We know he knows common at least. What would Wayne be? No, it was you and I was in bed. Oh, okay. Common, common Draconic, Dwarvish, and Elvish. Okay. Nobody understands. Oh, fuck. Um, give me a perception roll. All three of you. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, you're a cleric. You're not meant to do this. Uh, you do not see it. The other two do. Uh, the people that are nearby the uh, wagon, all of a sudden, all of these swords pop out of the sides of it and attempt to like stab people, but they all miss. Then the little turret at the top rotates a little bit. And... Does a 15 hit you? Uh, a giant crossbow bolt comes out of it and lands and hits the wall next to you. Um, Ezra, you are up. Um, I'd probably take the crossbow. I'll cast Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. Frost okay. the wheels, I guess. Roll the hit. 16. Uh, that hit. Roll damage. That is a mighty one damage. But speed is reduced. So what's the speed reduced by? Uh, Ten, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten feet. Okay. So minus, so then the minus. Okay. Um, Kelsier. Going there, and I'm gonna shoot it with my bow. The reason I shot at you was because I knew you were shot at him. Yeah. That's a 19 to hit. How uh, that hit? Four damage. Okay. I 
why I was reading the tag and I thought it said okay then. <laughs> That's dark. It's like okay then. <laughs> All done and okay then. I'm going to cast a uh, shield of faith on myself. This is green is concentration, right? Yeah. So. That's the third. It, uh, it, it don't matter. Okay. And then I'm going to move here and cast a uh, cantrip, bigger flame. And the shield of faith is a bonus action. He's casting on the turn. You're casting it on the thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll damage. It, it has no disappearance. Uh, I don't add anything, right? No, uh, not yet. No. Not until level 9. Okay. 7. Depending on uh, it doesn't seem want. like it's doing much, but it does, like, guard a little bit. Yeah. Uh, your arrow is the same way. Like, it doesn't Sorry. look like it did much to it at all. Now I'm hiding behind the chair. Uh, <laughs> it is its turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna use you. No. Yeah, it was the game. Uh, you hear. <laughs> Back. Uh, it does not move. <laughs> uh, this time you get to see as the blades come out of the side and it skewers the person. Uh, they fall down dead. Shit. Which is not uncommon. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, the turret starts spinning a little bit. Uh, I'll say they're both in open range. Yeah. yeah. Going by your head, okay. this here, is a giant crossbow bolt. Woo! Um, Ezra, you're up. Where are you in? Gotcha. Okay, that's 20 feet of movement. So I will get 20 on one after I cast this. I am going to cast. Color uh, Strike. Okay. So 15 foot cone from me. Has the lowest current hit point down until uh, starting at the point. Uh, what are you? You're a wizard. Mm -hmm. What was the spell? Color spray.
Okay. Um, how many hit points was that? 38. 38. Alright, how long does that last? Until the end of my next turn. Okay. Um still steer. Twenty five thirty. Alright. Uh I'm stepping back behind the screen. I'm gonna take a shot real quick. Okay. That's only a ten. Uh that misses. Okay. Bonus action to five. It hit well the better way to, to word it is bounces it hits off. and bounces off. Yeah. And that's a nineteen for my spell. Okay. Okay, dark. So, are the swords coming out the same spot? Uh, or are there slits throughout? There's, there, when they come out, it's almost like, it looks like a couple of things are coming out in different, they like, there's four things coming out at one time. Mm -hmm. And has there been an evident If I move here yep. and then try to climb, okay, that would be my last five. I don't know where that would get. Um, uh, height of the vehicle is pretty high. So I have to. Yeah. I, mean, I can't see directly on the other side. No. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. My bad. Didn't really tell me. Uh, I don't want to be getting on top of it. Yeah, no, I'm going to do that. Uh, you're going to do what? Use my action to then continue to move up. Okay. So you're going to climb on top of it? Yes, I want to get on above the turret. Okay. Do I need to make a climb? Uh, yeah, give me a athletics. <laughs> 13. 13? Yeah, you make it up there, no problem. Oh. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'll take uh, the, like, don't put it on. I'll put it on later. Like, I'll put it on. Appreciate it. I think he's going to take this on single handedly. But it's like Are you fully covered? Yes. 
um, you see a man, a, a, a humanoid with full armor come running up and like climb the side of the uh, wagon. Woo, woo. We have help. Uh, Ezrid and Kelsier, give me a uh, perception. This is generally where the best thing is. Okay. I don't know. Do this for Kelsey here. No. You're needing tens or twenty or tens, right? Sitting over there. How many? It's on. Okay. I think five in there. I have four. Okay. Choosing not to affect him. It says creatures you choose. Okay. Can you see the creatures though? See a wagon. There was in the twenty foot radius. Uh, well, does it say? Never mind. Never mind. So twenty nine hit points worth of creatures. Okay, so a bunch of like common people that are running around all drop down next to it. <laughs> What's that? Uh, they're running right by right on the other side. They're trying to get away from it. Yeah. We're going that pandemonium now. Nobody is going. Yeah. yeah, nobody makes sense when they're crazy. Person is smart. People. Twenty nine. You said. Non common, I'll pass out. No, it's only two points. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Kelsey. Bonus action to Jack. Oh. And I'm going to open the door. Okay. Uh, give me an athletic. Yep. Uh, you like grab a hold of it and start to pull, and it's not working. God, there's a door. Let's say, can I see him from since I'm up on the cupola? Uh, you can probably make out that he's over there. Plus, I'm yelling out to you. If only there was like a message here. <laughs> okay, dog. I'll make my way down the other side. And attempt to do the same thing. Strength yeah, or athletics? My offensive strength. That's a 19. Yeah, you doubled my roll just on the die. A 19? Yes. Small you pull, and like, it's it's not wanting to give, and all of a sudden you hear, <laughs> and the door comes open. Mm. Uh, inside. You see two, like, there's a goblin standing, and he's got two, like, holes <laughs> with swords on them. <laughs> Another goblin is standing up, and, like, he's he's screaming and just, like, waving, like, this, what looks like a heavy crossbow that he's, like, yeah. <laughs> maneuvering, and you can make out a third goblin sitting in a seat, and he's screaming. He's also got like a, a handle, but he's like, he's it's the whole you can see him also where he's trying to like pedal something. <laughs> goblin engineering is so good. This is great. We're gonna have something to just drive around. That was my action. Yep. 
You don't have a bone of fact. It's not one that would do anything to them. I use my bone of fact to get there. It's like yell at them. It's their turn. Uh, the, 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 the goblin that's in the turret looks down at you. And he like punches to his right and punches to his left. And like starts to come out the door. Um, goblins are so fun. So he's gonna like jump the door and uh, attempt to. As long as he's not dumping your bones. 17 to hit? Nope. Uh, one of the other goblins wakes up. That's his whole turn, is getting punched and woken up. The other one is punched and woken up. The third one that's got the swords, like, pulls them in and, like, lunges at you as well. He's got swords of reach, though. Thirteen? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the goblin that just attacked him, not using him, but he had to use his action. So you can only walk in one of them. Uh, it takes an action to wake someone up from sleep. Okay. I mean, they get, hmm. they get, because they're not standard go- goblins, they get multi attacks. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> so they use one of the multi attacks. Yeah. Or That's fine. That's so, Ezra, it's your turn. As two goblins are like scurrying out of this thing. By the way, there you go. <laughs> you didn't use my goblin? Mine are cuter. Yours are dumb. Drive by Ray of Frost. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over to that tree that tree and as I'm going I'm gonna fire Ray of Frost at one of them. Twenty six to hit. Uh that hits. Five points of damage. Okay. And his speed is reduced by ten percent. Uh Kelsier. I'm gonna whip out my dagger and stab the closest goblin. Okay. One of my daggers. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. That was a ten. Yep, that was Use a different dagger. I'm gonna use my other dagger. I got four of them. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> okay, dark. Hey, I'm glad my bad luck went to somebody else. Yeah, I'm right. one of your D20s. All mine are dark. Okay, let me go find one that's got really bad luck, so it might help you out. Yeah. Pick a poison. Those keep screwing me over. Mm. It'll probably roll well for me then. Okay, I'm going to uh, have my battle axe out and swing one of the others. To the mighty nine. 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 That's a no. That's a miss. In every language. No, sorry. Ten. Uh, but yeah, still. that's a miss. Yeah. Uh, their turn. The other two goblins climb out of the machine right. as well. Um. Sweet. They get tech tactics, don't they? Uh, it's even better. So two of them, they're they're standing next so to you each can other, see right? Bit easier. Yeah. So two of them are always are, Actually, are together. It's more like this. Yeah. There we go. Make sure that all. So two of the goblins join hands. <laughs> and like they. <laughs> And they come running at you. They're trying to clothesline you. (laughs) But they're going to trip you instead. Ooh. That's a 20. That just hits. Um, 
So you take five bludgeoning damage. You are prone and you are stunned. What the hell? As they exactly do exactly what you said is uh it's sort of funny watching these goblins like because it's it's this weird balance act as like as they get close to you they both jump in synchronization and hit you in the head with their arms and basically pull you down into the ground okay and like whop, your um, head bounces so if i'm stunned can i not use a reaction uh no that would be a great time to do that. Uh, and one of oh, them is good. Man. The other, so one of them is prone, and the other one is not. <laughs> That's fucking great. Um, I have a feeling these are going. <laughs> Ash, you're not liking me today. Uh, so the creatures are incapacitated, can't move, can't speak. Um, the creature automatically fails strength and deck save. Attack rolls against the creature having damage. So it doesn't say anything. I can't use any reaction. Uh, I have you... an equivalent to hellish rebuke, which is not. Let's see here. Does it require verbal? Incapacitate. That's the key word. Creature can't take actions or reactions. Okay. They they used another key term that I had to yeah. look up in the past. Okay. Um so the goblin with the two swords is gonna come. Of course. Um, <coughs> you have your other backup lined up? Yes. <laughs> Sixteen to hit? Nope. Sixteen to hit? Nope. Uh and then the fourth goblin is gonna try to poke you. Okay. He's gonna nod as himself. They are goblins. Uh, 22. Yeah. And ooh, that's good. Oh, fuck. Hold on. So on the first one, take six slashing. On the net 20, take four slash. Woo! Uh, Ezra, you see four goblins that are standing around. Sort of standing around. It's a bonus action. Okay. Excluding all creatures that aren't goblins, I'm <laughs> going to cast sleep again. Okay. He learned. Yep. Because on this round, uh, all the humans that are uh, unconscious around it are getting up. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they're not. Because that's like sleep a long term. Unless yeah, it's like too. a minute or something. Yeah. Maybe longer. Cast it on your toddler, but it won't shut up. It doesn't work. Inside. Because toddlers, for whatever reason, are immune to sleep. Kind of like an elf. <laughs> I don't know why we grow out of that, but like, as a young, as a, as a two-year-old, you're immune to sleep. As a ten-year-old, you're immune to sleep. As a twenty-year-old, sleep is the best thing It has thing critical ever. effects. <laughs> Thirty all together. 30? Mm -hmm. uh, they all pass. Yes! Here I come to save the day! Uh, you'll see On this section, I'm drinking one of those two red potions I found off the orc's chest. <laughs> I'm assuming it's You healing. and potions, Come on, weird. let it be poison. Yeah. Watch it. Uh, Okay. 
minute. Uh, any question of feelings? I guess. No, that's what it's oh, okay. Wait. And that's two, two, four, four plus two. Right. Uh, yeah, that's what I was like. I, I was like, I can't remember which one that one is. It's two, two, four plus two. Okay, and then I've got rope, so I'm gonna start tying the fuckers up. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. Else you fuck them up. Uh, did I get another? Did I get a save or anything against that? No. No. Once they're asleep, they're either asleep for a minute or until a creature takes an action to wake them up. up, or if they take. Well, there's a mob that'll wake up about 12 seconds before him and I start kicking him. They'll be tied up by then. Okay. You drop that. okay. I don't know if I'll uh, So we are easy. out of initiative as uh, you're able to tie him up before anything happens. I'll start waking up if you're taking action. Yeah. Until I sleep. Okay. What are you guys doing? Other than that. Thank you for your I'm starting with the, I'm uh, starting my process of clearing out the cellar. <laughs> How are you now? It was much appreciated. For goblins, those were. Oh. I think there's still more in the turret, right? No, the turret was in the corner. Bunch of dudes out the world, okay. Is the one driving? No. There's no one in there. Okay. So when you look into it, there's two seats. You couldn't see the fourth one because he was sitting down and asleep. Mm-hmm. Um, they both the, and what it is is they have pedals on either side, so it's like a, a one of those paddle boats. Yeah. Yeah. So if one stops paddling, the other one it, it'll turn. Um. So these goblins might be stupid, but they're actually kind of smart. They made a land rolling paddle boat killing Thomas. And did it pretty well. Yeah. I suppose the watch will be here. I think Thomas yeah. is waking up. Yeah. 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 What are you going to do? Uh, I'm just going to wait for the birds to operate without. I'm going to move to any anything. commoners that are dead and see if I can just try and die on the other. Unfortunately. Yes. They got one HP and they took two. They're dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm aware got, of that one. They got one HP and the minimum I do damage is three. <laughs> yeah. They are not. dead, dead. They're skewered. They probably got stapled yeah. to the wheel. All the rabbits. That's what the that's what the blade is called. That's what it's called. It's blade. That's the you couldn't hear it because you guys couldn't understand. But in Goblin, it was blade storm, and all the blades would come out, <laughs> and then it. Fire of the cannon! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, can we keep them? They're dead. Well, not dead. Talking about the goblins. Yeah. No. Put them to work. Poor ghost! Are you, are you okay? Uh, for the most part. Were you injured? No. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know the way to the nearest temple? Oh. <laughs> Um, actually kind of funny. Not really. I just came we're, off uh, the ship. We're looking for a priest. We think our new house is haunted or something. I might can help you with that. That'll work. Once the guards get here and take the goblins, we'll come back. Sounds good. <laughs> You're going to walk up. <laughs> so, okay, dog is going to come in. See the house. Oh, I want to be a plus. Shit's going to start flying <laughs> out the front door. So you wait a few minutes, the guards 
show up. Uh, they're all sweating and like heavy breathing, and they're like, "We've been chasing this for half the city." Here you go. Here's ah. the keys. Don't scratch it. Where's the other? Wait, what? <laughs> there were two that separated from the parade. Shit. Better, better. And he turns and like tells <laughs> some of them, and they take off front. They like mm-hmm. down the road, and him and two others like basically grab the ropes. Yeah, and they're and they toss you a gold. Woohoo! I'll take it. Wait, don't pay for six more feet of rope. Yeah. <laughs> I don't assume it took off here. What do you guys do? Well, he said he could help, so yeah. let's go back home. We're taking him home. Um. Okay. So, in this home. time. Would there have been a slight chance that Balthazar could have set up a sort of ramp system down the steps? Like a key for right. doing resistance? Rolling the barrels out the door. Because oh. every time you start to you set up the ramp and you leave, it's not there when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Is there That's another right. entrance into the cellar? No. no. I, sure. I was going to look at the map. Yeah, you got it. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Just hold that up. Ogadar takes off her helmet. Oh. Um, you see female what? half-orc. Um, dark eyes, obviously pale green uh, skin. Uh, black hair, but it's shaved on one side. Okay. About six feet. A bit of a <laughs> The big ones. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what race? Half four. Half four. Three in? Informant. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, those are what the memes are gonna be. Yes. Oh Only is this a giant mustache. <laughs> Put my head in the door. Bear! I want to stay up! As you poke your head in the door, a chair comes at you. A very unfortunate <laughs> thing to shout. It's the chair that I threw. I'm not sure. Somebody threw a chair. Balthazar, come out. Balthazar found the bathroom and somebody got some. Okay. So come out around the corner. <sighs> I found this a priest of sorts. That's a bad place to be standing. Yeah, I just had a chair come flying at me. I just hope it doesn't have access to the bathroom. Uh, 17 hits you. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me it wasn't from the third floor. Uh, it takes two bludgeoning damage. That's damage. <laughs> as a, uh, chair leg hits you. Fuck you, damn ghost! It wasn't a log. <laughs> <laughs> Healing word. Thank you. It'll be okay, lady. <laughs> Looks like you got yourself a ghost. But I know anything about spirits. Uh, give me. Is this be a religion or a history? <laughs> Help this out. Okay. Give oh, me a. Goblins uh, had a arcana. Full return. I've been fighting a fucking ghost getting crashed out of me. It's a nineteen. Nineteen. Um. If you take a good look, Balthazar's got like a busted limb, bruised eye. There are many eye. instances of uh, hauntings. Uh, some of them are evil hauntings where the creatures are very, very hostile mm-hmm. to the point of like actually killing people. Next and then there's other hauntings that are like it's just random, like 
Frankfurt. Yeah. In Bolo's pamphlet, there was one about X Street. It's on one street. Yeah. It never leaves the street. Huh. And it sometimes attacks. Sometimes it won't. It was in his pamphlet. Did you read it? Not all of it. Oh. I'm working on it. So reading the cliff notes is hard. So I'm going to try one thing, but other than that, I'm not sure how much help I can do with this. Very good. And so. I guess I'm going to try and toss a leg and see if it moves. You know, and get tired or something goes like that. Flying across the room. <laughs> and if I see it, turn on this. Okay. So you toss the leg back in? Mm -hmm. Seriously, it's a finicky. <laughs> Do we try to make a deal with it? I've just been trying to get shit out of it. I mean, at least it's not trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hitting him for stuff, but... I mean, Balthazar's got a busted lip, bruised eye, <laughs> missing a tooth. That was already gone. I was talking about the other one. Oh. Mm -hmm. We won't try to drive you out if you don't attack us. We just want to clean the place up. Anything come flying at me? <laughs> nope. Oh, well, in that case, you see shit start floating out the door. <laughs> so what did you tell it again? We're, we will let you stay here and not try and drive you out. We just want to stay here and fix the place up. Losing the magic word. Okay. Can you show yourself? Holding one of the barrels, I'm going to try and walk outside again. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Wait, are, are, are you saying you have a touch? Yeah. Did you not see it hit me with the table leg? That's true. Well, I didn't know. No, that, he was upstairs. Huh? Hey, you might want to stay over there. <laughs> I found the bathroom. So we take it, y'all just moved in? Back down the cellar. Technically moved in, yeah. We just inherited the place. Two barrels coming up. <laughs> You're welcome to stay and help us get fixed up, I guess. <laughs> You're welcome to get the fuck to work. <laughs> we need all the hands we can get to get this place in running order. Let's get some yeah. more hands. I'm Scout here. Uh, this is Balthazar. Hello. And that's the old man. Good morning. Well, it's nice to meet you. It's Nice to meet you. Thanks for your help with the goblins and their machine. And the goblins are idiots. <sighs> yeah. In general. You're the one that feeds all the dead. How many beers does he have again? Punch you three times just in case, but then they go into the fourth. 
I don't need your comfort. No, stupid. I look like super cheap. <laughs> I'm <clears throat> stupid. I'm just not smart. I'll be here to read one day. I'm just gonna. I can read though. I'm not. I'm not that stupid. I'm just not the smartest. <laughs> You're a barbarian. I thought they could be. No, that it's was just, older they, edition. Just, yeah, it's just that was older edition. Never mind. <laughs> How old are you? In three five, they couldn't read. Oh, that's right. Sorry. It was like two sessions before. Once we get all the complete junk out of the first floor, I want to take an inventory and see how many like practical tables and chairs we still have left. Okay. Um, most of the tables are here salvaged. Uh, a good portion of the chairs are salvaged. Uh, you'll need a couple more. Um, to give you an estimate on what it's going to cost mm -hmm. to get this place running, you need to somehow come up with um, roughly you're going to have to pay a thousand gold to get this place. I'm not going to get that by getting one gold piece of time saving the city. Nope, that's why Balthazar <laughs> is going to be going back to work at his day job and his night job. Uh, and that's not counting the license and contracts that you need with the yeah. guild representatives to get alcohol and so forth. we got to get our liquor license. What do you guys plan so to do? Know, I think we take it over. Not all of it. Not, not all of it. Okay. Uh, Bounces our plans on taking the uh, room with the balcony access on the second floor of the theater. I'll take this. Okay. You can have the top floor of the tower. Yep. It's all yours. You so haven't seen two, it. There's two rooms with balcony. Okay. The one that has access to the, the two balconies. Sure. Okay. And it's right above the playing area. So, I think it's tower room. Tower room is literally I... five feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not actually a room. That's why I was like, yeah, you can have the tower. It's, it's where we'll set up. If somebody wants to get married, they can go up there and propose. Get down on one knee and just cramp. Okay, top floor. Straight up, just refurbishing this place back into a bar. Okay. So, we're um, gonna have to start earning money for that. Back to yep. work. Which room? But how do you guys plan to uh, earn your money? Balthazar will be going back to work at the circus and doing shows. I was going to say we can maybe put on ads for some adventures or something. See if ads anybody needs anything like that. You're going to put out an ad for adventuring? Yes. See if anybody needs anything. A okay. strong man with rippling muscles looking for late night work. Discreet, won't tell anyone. Uh, so you can pull in. Roughly ten gold uh, on a good night. Yeah. You average around five gold uh, for your entertainment. Um, so based on your performance check, it'll range from five. Gold. Okay. And if you roll a one, you get one. I really crapped it up that. If it's on, like, if there were to be slow days, I might try to find working spots. Okay, so doing some heavy lifting say, and stuff like that. Since Ogador is a sailor background, you'd probably work on the docks. Or, because I'm pretty sure since Umberly is the high chief of the Black Temple, uh, part of that deity, so you'd probably find some work on the docks. 
Okay. Finding work on the dock. Offer, uh, would offer blessings for sailors. Uh, uh, how much Bless. do you charge for your blessing for the, uh, for the ship? For ship? Ten gold. And for, like, general fishermen? For general fishermen, just ten gold. Um, roll a, um, roll me a persuasion. Six. Six? Okay. Uh, you get, uh, if the ship captains are like really oh, stingy, works. I'll do five. Okay. With that, you'll be able to get in your first night or first day of doing it. Uh, you'll get four ships, uh, but you you get no no hits from any of the ships. None of the really simple boats. And you like the dock looks the like rougher part, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll also work down there. Uh, what are you doing down there? Slot of hand. Give me. Please don't get caught. If I do, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Give me that slot of hand check. That is a... really good. <laughs> uh, twenty-three. Give me a D one hundred. Well, grand total of five gold. Twenty-four. Uh, it takes you a little bit of time to like find the, the mark. Mm -hmm. Um, you're not sure what he has on him, but when you finally like are able to get the uh, pick his pocket and get away without anybody catching you, uh, you when you finally look at it, you uh, obtain a flute. I'll play it. <laughs> I'll just not play it. Uh, I think I do too. Balthazar knows how to play the flute and the viol. The daintiest of instruments for giant men. Yes. Well, so in my talent, yes. I'm going to wander around the market and listen out for uncommon topics and General rumors of interest. Okay. Then I will attempt to contact my the people I know and try to sell it. Okay, so you're gonna sell sell information. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can sell the flute for uh, one gold, five silver. Okay. For pawning it. That was a very lucrative flute. I mean, they're two gold one with. Yeah. Uh, give me your performance roll, and you give me a perception roll. Okay, so now give me a persuasion. Everybody 
he's Raymond. like, what? A chicken? Really? And come to find out, it's like not even anything like that. It wasn't a chicken. Yeah. It was a lizard. It may have been a rooster. And it wasn't up her butt. It like flew up her skirt. <laughs> and and like just ass. scared her. You know, it's that type of thing. Um, but you do find a little bit of actual good information to sell off to a uh, myth, and you're able to get some gold. What is it? Because it might be worth it to investigate myself um, or ourselves. For Basically, like, you're just rambling off nonsensical stuff, and the guy just gives you the tip. You don't know why he gave it to you, but there was something about it that he, like, he wanted out of it. I can't believe my wife is cheating on me with some guy named Henry the Chicken. Right. I mean, like, it's, if you think about it, the way that your character is going to do it, you're going to just start telling random rumors, and the guy's not going to be, he's going to be like, okay, okay, okay. Okay. That was good. Oh, wait, uh, well, he won't, even, for, he won't tell you. He won't tell you which ones he likes. He'll just be like, "Okay, I'll, I'll give you ten gold for all of them." So you don't know which rumors like hit something worth, or which ones were just like he'd already heard and didn't care. Are there any taverns that have like pit fighting? There are. So if it's a slow day. So... Find me at the dockboard pit. When we go on break, I need to talk to you about my background. Yep. What time we got? It's 824. 824? Uh, we'll go a little bit longer, and then we'll go to break. All right. So, uh, next day. Mostly because I can't play the pit uh, Are you going to do the pit fight, or are you going to attempt to Well, you said I had four ships. Was it the pit or the Um, there's two if you were given a hit. Uh, first half of the day, try and get some opportunities. Okay. Uh, start with the persuasion roll. Eighteen. Oh, eighteen. Next day. Are you doing five or ten? Uh, again, I'm offering ten, but I, you know, okay. I'm trying to bargain. Did you get 18? Yes. Uh, so you get six ships today for the 10 gold. I'm going to go see if I can find Never Rumor. Okay. The guys that owe us a favor. Loon and Little Never Rumor. Okay. I just mentioned that again. So, as we're setting out for the day, that's what I'm going to go do. I'll run the same racket. You're running the same racket? With the 16th perception. Okay. Sixteenth of the choice. Uh... You only get two gold for this. I gotta look up every number. Yeah. Yep, there's a big deal about it. Yeah. yeah. The, the religious one isn't that great because it's like just papers and that's it. Trying to find gold. Balthazar kind of has a job. That's the problem. His backstory gave him a job. It's not very lucrative because there's a competing fair in town. Okay. Uh, what is Balthazar doing? Oh, actually, now that I thought about that, the competing fair in town that people are more likely to be going to, he's going to be working more at the dock and then doing the ships at night. Okay. So give me a performance roll. Uh, well, first, what are you doing at the dock? Heavy lifting. Heavy lifting? Manual labor. Uh, so give me a... Like, loading cargo on ships and stuff yep. like that. So your first one, give me an athletics roll. 
say 18. And then give me a performance at disadvantage. <laughs> it doesn't get much worse than this with a one and a two. Wait, you get one gold for your performance of the day. Yep. But you make five gold for a day of labor. Never right, so ever. Currently, myself and Kelsey are at 12 gold and five silver. Because you can actually do things that are worthwhile to people. Although you may see me loading shit on ships. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go to Never Ember? Yeah. Bloom uh, Bragmore. Which one are you gonna go to first? Bloom or Bloom uh, or I'll go to Bloom first. Because I'm sure he doesn't think I'm totally useless on what Never Ember. Oh yeah, that's right. Nah. You may need to grab me then. <laughs> it talks with coins on both ways. Okay. Uh so you find Plume. He's in a bar. He uh when when you walk in and like you see him like it took it took you a little while to find him, mm -hmm. and when you finally find him, you come in and you sit down, and he looks over and he's, "You look familiar." I'm one of the guys who helped rescue you. Okay. Grabs a drink and like starts to drink it. I I get me the big guy with the mustache. Right. Old man, never remember. I remember. Not old man, never remember. Yeah. Old I remember, Rainier. You. I was part of the group helping you. Right. So what you want? I have a proposition for you. Me and my companions have recently come into ownership of a bar and tavern, and we would like you to patron us and perhaps reap some of the rewards from it. I will definitely be great. Can you help us get a start up? Unfortunately, I don't have much coin to spare. At least not this day. Anything you have would be a help. Or perhaps putting in a, a favor with Rainier? Rainier might be able to help you, but I haven't seen him in a day. Maybe we should go drinking. If I see him, I'll point him in your direction then. Hey, well, thank you! I guess I'm off to try and find Rainier. Uh, give me an investigation check. Sweet. That's a seven. Not so sweet. You spend the rest of your day, like, you get these different rumors of where to go, and, like, every time you get there, they're like, yeah, he was here, but, like, he left. He left. Oh, so we would have had a long rest. Yeah. yeah. Long rest is definitely in the past. Day number three. You want to help me find Rainier? Yeah. Same thing? I'll work at the carnival until he gets done at the dock. Then we'll go find Athletics? Yeah. And and his his story like 
he, he comes to you, and with, when you say one gold, he that's a lot of money. Well, that's the last night's foray in the. I, I'm willing to take the chance. Blessings. <laughs> Maybe you should throw up your presents and do a couple of things with each of them. Yeah, I'm just going to... broken shit just like the rest of us. <laughs> I'm just going to work the carnival. Uh, no, you can't get a chance right. to talk. Uh, you're going to... Not much. Yeah, it, it's still... Yeah, there's there's a competing carnival. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. Fighter pit? Yep. Okay. Fight, 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 fight. fight. So... Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, Ezra over with. Okay. Uh, are there any parts of the city where more distinct, let's say, richer folk hang out yeah. during the day? The part of the city where our mansion is. I'm going to do what I've been doing, except listening to rich people, hoping that their information will be much more valuable. Okay. Um, give me a perception roll. Natural 20, so it's a 22. Right. Oh, perception. Um, persuasion is a 20. Okay. Um, again, like, this one's really, like, you're getting a lot of, like, she slept with the maid, or she slept with the butler. That could be good information. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, you're about to close this business. The lawyers are about to make a lot oh, of money. What? No, I don't do that. I do. Hey, my hey, main said the race goal or is just to pass the information along to people who care about this kind of stuff. So when you uh, like, it takes you a couple of different people to find, uh, to talk to. And you're not getting, like, nobody's buying it for a while. And then all of a sudden, like, one person, when you start giving all the information to him at the bar, he just, like, puts the bag down, gets up, and leaves. Okay. You may not have caused the divorce. You may have caused the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> just Again, saying. That's not my problem. So I'm she's just sleeping, sleeping with all the help. Inside the bag is uh, the equivalent of 700 gold. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, dude, you didn't cause a divorce, you caused a murder. Yeah. And perhaps a house war. Yeah. Okay. So you two are trying to find Rainier. Yes. yes. Uh, one of you can yeah. give me an investigation check with advantage, or you can both give me an investigation check. Woo! 21. 21. 21. Uh, again, you're sp you're getting the, like, well, he's at so-and-so bar. No, he's at so-and-so bar. And it takes you half the night, but you do eventually find Rainier. He is drunk with plumes. Uh, it is a dies, different day, yes. <laughs> so I can't be mad at them. As you uh, come into the bar, Rainier turns and looks, and Big Lion! Hello, Rainier! This is why I brought you to this. Because they used to steal jobs. You're the one that found them. Hello, friend. How are you? Good, good. Loon told me you have a proposition for me. Yes, we do. See, I'm not as good with the words, because you know. And I'm better with the muscles and stuff like that. You might want to listen to him. He's better at the speaking. Right. I know, I know. He's not that much fun and useful, but he's better at words. Master Volo gave us a bar for helping rescue Bloom. And we wish to get it up and running and perhaps become bar owners. And we need a little bit of funds to get the license and everything fixed up. And we're hoping you might be able to 
up with that in exchange for some profit. Mm. Some of the profit. Yeah, I don't really need profit. So I get a, or, yeah. I'm just saying, maybe they have a permanent tab they get to keep on. Or that. At least they're in the Yes. Or at least like half off. Half off. He still had a gold for the flag and a gold army. Anything along those lines that you think would be profitable to yourself? Where exactly is this ball? I'll give him the address. I don't remember off the top of my head. I think it's on Griffin Lane or something like that. Where? Um. He, uh, he, he listens and he, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I will stop by tomorrow and we will discuss the exact amount that you need to borrow. Thank you. Uh, in return, you do have to pay me back. Of course. Uh, and we will negotiate, uh, fees of later. Well, thank you for at least listening. <laughs> Just saying, since we're here, and Balthazar is going to buy a round for everybody. Okay. Bloom, uh, Rainier, Balthazar, and Kelsey. Rainier, Bloom, you. Plus four. Okay. Not everyone in the bar. Okay. Um. What? I'm not wanting to do the cheap stuff. I'm wanting to do the better. Oh, the better stuff? Uh, well, still, at the bar that you're at, it's only going to cost you, like, you're, you're, these guys slum a lot. <laughs> they go out drinking, and it's not like, hey, let's go like. Be they do my type of drink. Right. <laughs> I go to the rag pen. Shit, rag pen. You drink out the spit cup. Oh, I was talking about when I was drunk. Oh. So at this point, we're going to take a quick break. We will come back. Uh, to continue the uh, as they are renovating their home that they have earned. We're homeowners! Yay! We're gonna bring down the neighborhood. So uh, keep yourself entertained in chat. If you have any questions, let me know. I will try to answer them in chat while I have the spare time. We'll be right back, guys.
<laughs> no, we can we can do this without a ring because it's gonna be yeah. Like it says a... Anathar's just had three rolls and strength and dex and a weird con. And a oh. what? It's like a strange there we go. constitution. Man. Oh, that's our thing, Dylan. Oh, and then we can have like you player versus player. Character makes three checks: strength, athletics, dexterity, acrobatics, and a special constitution check that has a bonus equal to a roll of the character's largest hit die. This roll doesn't spin that die. If desired, the character can replace one of these skill checks with an attack roll using one of the eleven. The DC for each of the checks is five plus two d ten. Okay. <laughs> so I will roll the two d ten back here. So it's five plus two d ten. And what's your winning according to that? Uh, uh actually yeah. really nice. Uh, uh. Um Zero successes, you lose your bouts, earn nothing. One success, fifty gold, two successes a hundred, three successes two. Okay. That's so right uh starting with Make your first roll. This one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so plus five. That's fun. That's a fail. Second roll. That's an actual one. Which comes plus out to. And athletics again? Or? No, it's. So you gotta do one of each. Uh, so that'd be four. Four. That's also a fail. That was a. That was a. That, I don't believe you failed that. Do I know there's people? If there is. Oh my god. Okay, the dice don't like me. Huh? The, uh, the dice don't want bad. you to harm your dainty feminine figure. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so that's. Your six foot two, muscle bound, freak of nature, feminine figure. 
four plus my what's the hit die? Like you said. Yeah. Uh, eight. Do I know so there? Did I go with them? Uh, no. You were. This is going on during the same time that you yeah. did your uh, your big. I'm gonna get back to the house. Man, and all our cops are later. It says equal to a roll of the character's largest. Okay, so, so roll your roll your. Is it a one? Yep. So that's five total. Five total. Yeah. Uh, you come away with zero Nothing. winning. Yep. Here were here were your DCs. Ready? Twenty. Nine. And twelve. <laughs> See, I could try and go in. I'd get twenty, 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 but the DCs would somehow magically be like twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh, the first one when I rolled that twenty, I was like, "Damn, I don't, I don't think he's gonna fucking get this one at all." When I rolled the nine, and you're like four, I was like, "Are you shitting me? Like, yeah. how the fuck?" Now, my dice don't like me today. So you come away from the fighting pit, beaten, bruised, and battered, and and no money extra to your name. That one would have been fucking amazing. Which, by the way, nobody picked anything in this. Yeah, that's the orgy room. I'm going to say... Orgy floor. Don't mind the drips. Just try not to get any on him. Me. Okay. Brazil. So, second floor. Who, who's picking what room? Ron's got this. Balthazar. Not the feeble old man and the smell of prune juice. Is this also a bathroom? That is the bathroom. I thought this one was. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, that just closet? Yeah. Okay. okay. You're mopping that up. I, I would have found the actual bathroom. <laughs> but I did not think you'd find it. That long. I mean, I'm sure somebody has cleaned it out yeah. recently. Hopefully a ghost that's rooming with us. We don't know. It wasn't me. Is this like a closet or something? No, uh, what? This little fourth towel room right here. I mean, I, I'll put it this way. It's whatever you want. It to be. It's, yeah. Okay. Like, the way that they have the floor design, mm -hmm. um, they've got bedrooms and main rooms and like dens and all that but okay. since it is barren it's whatever it's I'm whatever doing. the hell you want okay now the reason that they pick certain rooms to be bedrooms is because they are they're the typical like they have a fireplace to keep you warm at night and so forth. yeah so of course the old man shows the room that doesn't have a fire. hey <laughs> your choice not mine I give myself one with a whole bunch of women. <laughs> <laughs> so and occasionally I've gone all to the way. The next morning. Just occasionally. Uh, that's the fire. <laughs> you get together. How much money have you guys earned? Fifteen and a half. That's between me and him for uh, uh thousand five hundred. Eighty one? It's been three days. That's including, uh... No. This is just me, also. Oh. You mean 15 gold. Yeah, we have... 
15 gold and 5 silver. No, no, no. I need, I need to know Sorry. how I'm much gonna... together you have pulled together. Because this is going to be that question right here asked. Yeah, is what do you right? guys have and what do you need? You said you had 81? Yes. Actually, I have 91 right now already. Okay. How much did you have? 700. 700 flat? Yeah. We have 805 gold and 5 silver. Throw in an extra 70 from my personal pocket. 875 and 5 gold. 875. Okay. About about 10, 100. So the next morning, Rainier, like, you get up. And Rainier is sitting in the ball nice. when you get down. Yeah. I thought you locked the door. He might have a key. You know. Good morning. 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 You like some breakfast? Uh, so you didn't unlock the door. So maybe, the a spirit maybe it was our friend. And there's a spirit or something here? Right. So, we're working out the team. This place has a lot of... Uh, I've walked around. Uh, I didn't go to the second floor. Uh, due to the fact that it was locked. Uh... Have you talked with any of the guilds yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're looking at just renovations at the moment to get ready to open the guilds. Well, the renovations themselves might require a trip to one of the guilds. You'll probably need to speak with the carpenter's guild to get some of that taken care of. Um. Which that will require a contract and a license. You'll need your license for liquor. Uh, so you'll need to start uh, to talk with the distillers. It looks like you have excess rooms, possibly upstairs. Do you plan to rent them out? It would be a good idea. To then you'll need to speak with the innkeepers. So you need the vendors, distillers, the brewers guild, the Innkeepers Guild, the Carpenters Guild, you'll also, you're going to serve food at your bar, correct? Yes. Butcher's Guild. And, uh, I think that should take care of everything. Good side note, I only got four of those. <laughs> Uh, you need the Fellowship of the Innkeepers. Got it. The Ventures Distillers and Brewers Guild. So is that just under the Distillers Guild? That's one guild. Okay. Ventures, Distillers, and Brewers Guild. That's your liquor license. Uh, the Guild of Butchers. One yeah. and beer. So it was four total guilds. Yeah, and then the I Carpenters. Got and the Carpenters. Okay, then I got them all. It's just when you said the Ventures, Distillers, and Brewers Guild, I thought those were each individual. How much do these contracts usually run? Uh, average, um, it's going to run you, depending on how well you negotiate your contracts and license, uh, roughly 50 gold. So I can roll back down to the Uh, so that's looking at what? Uh, Roughly 200. 200 based on your, and that's, that's a matter of, it might be more, it might be less. Depends on what they're, and who you end up talking with. Because you could get ornery assholes, uh, and you could get sweet biddies that, they look wonderful. That lovely old lady. That loves the muscle. But the downfall is, is she won't 
move for a penny. So, based on who you end up with, roughly 50 gold of parties. And for the rest of your renovations, the last time I spoke with the Carpenters Guild for repairs, Where are you standing? Um, currently, as a whole, we are standing at 875 gold. So, but that is not deducting the roughly 200 gold from the contract as a whole. So if we take out the contract, we're standing at roughly 675. So those total, you probably need around 600. That's it for their business. Then it's a matter of you guys taking your own money. So. I assume the contract doesn't include stocking anything like drinks or food or anything like that as well. No, that's part of your contract is you pay up front for your first okay. delivery. Okay. I wasn't sure. Thank you. So, I will send the guild leaders or representatives your way. It's up to you to uh, talk your way through that. And I'll send someone over shortly with a little bit of money. See if you can scrounge up more. I'm not sure if 600, if I'll be able to provide the full 600 this month. Thank you. Well, we and anyways, what shall we owe you back when we get rolled? Ah, ha, ha, the fun part of the negotiation. So, you obviously will owe me my 600 gold. Uh, on top of that, I would like a fairly large barter. In lieu of... Uh, any interest that I should be charging you for the 600 gold. I guess that seems fair enough. Would you also like a permanent room here? Mm, no, I will buy my room if I ever need one. Okay. Because that would uh, take away from your possible earnings, whereas I can uh, purchase a room whenever I need it. Uh, but drinking, on the other hand, free alcohol. Is always welcome. And this is just till we pay you back and then normal prices, perhaps? Or half? Eh, let's say this time. I, I agree with the, yes. the, the lovely lady. A discount would be better preferred. Of course. So, uh. Always a discount for you. I just yeah. looked at him and saw a little lady in the tent. Do what? <laughs> What? When he said the, the little lady's correct, I looked over at you and saw a little lady. <laughs> so, uh, what do we say we take at least 10% off of all of my bar tickets? I think that's manageable. Excellent. Uh, in true Wabadikian fashion, we will shake on it, and the contract that I will have drawn up will be brought for you to sign. All right. Uh, it'll be in the accordance with what we've agreed. All right? Sounds fair. He puts his hand out, shakes, he turns and leaves. When we get that contract, I'm reading through it all the way. Okay. <laughs> well, he said he would be sending over people. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm going to try and go and get some more money. Um, okay. Sorry. I see you beat the fuck up. What did you do? Not a good fight. Fights. I like a good tavern bro. Go. Go with him tonight. We need him. Thank you. Well, if you'll do your rumor thing today as well, I'll stay and work on the contract. What time are we meeting for the uh, fight? This evening is usually in the round. 
<laughs> should probably not be doing that with you. So I'm going to put you there. Yeah, play your uh, suit or something. Well, how hard it is to make it. I'm wondering how much I'm going to pay if you watch it. <laughs> You. Let me give you the general idea of how many people are in the tavern in the morning that are not on over looking at this. Mm. It's the customers we currently have in here. Yeah. I still have <laughs> I didn't even think that. Dude, <laughs> Rainier is going to be shagging in that tower every night. Yeah, look at the neighborhood, girl. <laughs> Speaking of the neighborhood. Here come the neighbors! You, you. Woohoo! We have our own house. That's the. Uh, He's done! Oh. Hi, Move the, uh, down. There we go. <laughs> Us. Is it shops around us or just houses? I like to look at the different houses or the different shops that are around us. Okay. Like not go in but see like what the signs are. Never question the wizard when he's wizarding. Okay. We need the money. Um my crew, I don't ask questions. So shops around you. Yes. If you go basically through the alleyway, mm-hmm. Going east, so you go first. Like if you go out the door and go, yeah, down that alleyway, right around the yeah, the end of that alley, there is a small wooden sign above the shop's main door. is bare except for a large bent nail sticking out of it. Interesting. Walk in and see what it is. Read the name of the thing. Uh, the front room contains displays of ornate wooden furniture as well as a selection of bows and crossbows. Well, very, very the wall close. behind the counter is lined with rows of finely carved wooden canes, quarter staves, and shields. Woodwork. Mm. But it's ornate furniture. A male hat belt comes from uh, the back room and he. Hello. Hello there. Uh, a group of mine and myself, we just moved into the old tavern just down the alley. I was looking around the uh, alleys just to see what kind of uh, shops are around. Oh, understandable. And it just so happens we might be looking into getting some new furniture for it. Ah, well, I'm Pally Pilbrant. Tally Nice to meet you, Tally. I am Balthazar Barnes. I'm Balthazar. Wonderful. Uh, I could gladly uh, help set up your tavern. Brookie, of course. Of course. What? Have you spoke with the carpenter's guild yet? That is actually what we have to do, Pride. Uh, because the guild needs to be, uh, the license for everything needs to be taken care of so that when I come in to do the work, uh, we have been properly taken care of in the city of the book itself. Aha! Well, this is very good. Well, come and find me once you've got your uh, license and, uh, we'll see what we can do. Of course, Tal. I'm gonna reach out and just shake his hand. Wrap all the way around his hand just to shake it. Yeah. Well, you know, nobody ever actually shakes hands. It's always this. Okay. The arm clap. Yeah. You know but it's you, also like. You know why you arm clap? In case no. they have a hidden dagger. There you go. And they can't make that. Yep. Uh, the other reason also is uh, you don't know. It's who, easier to do that than grab and snap their elbow. Well, you also don't know who wipes their hand with what, put their ass with what hand. Isn't that right? <laughs> and I hope to be seeing you very soon then. Yes. 
field quite possible. Uh, we are just down the road. What was the actual name of the tavern beforehand? Because it had a tattered old sign in front of it, didn't it? Um, I don't think it did. No. It didn't? Nope. We had to make up that name. Now, it is known as the Troll Skull Man. Because it is on Troll Skull Alley. It is the large man. And hopefully we shall see you at Troll Skull Manor soon enough. Uh, yeah. Good. Well, so going to go ahead and head out and continue looking at different shops. Play with my okay. shop. Um, which direction do you want to go from there? Let's head north. Head north. Um, because that was all the way at the very east end of the alley. Yep. Right? So there's there are houses intertwined in these. Mm-hmm. So like you've got a bunch of houses also. Oh gosh, I hope we don't get noise complaints from the neighbors. We will. Just keep your ear around. Uh, um, now wake up all of the complaints. all of the north side, like right no there murder. at the on the northeast side of that map. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all houses. Okay. Um, as you keep, are you going straight down that road? Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna be checking out every building that is along this map. So the third building on the left. So this one. No, once you pass your manor. Here you go. Um. This has an orange and black sign featuring a cat's eye. Interesting. Heading on in. <laughs> Inside is a regal apartment, dimly lit by flickering oil lamps. Uh, the door is locked. Never mind, I will not be heading in. The door is locked. Yep. Do you knock or ring the bell that's there? There is a bell. Um. We're the fifty that we pay well, only true. for the first first shipment. So I'm assuming we're actually a similar pay for any further. The contract gets all the work done, so that's why I feel it's much more like a thing. It's probably gonna be cheaper right. every month we go. Uh what's the question? Well, we're, we're trying, trying to calculate out. about how much we'd have to spend on upkeep and paying Rainier back a month. Okay. To get it paid off in time and fashion. Uh, you can have that discussion with Rainier later. I uh, just didn't have that discussion yeah. then. Uh, because I do have those numbers. Uh, you have to discuss it with somebody that understands. And maybe one of the guild people actually will. So. Guild representatives will be coming. Yeah. Yep. So, um,. What are you doing for the day? Go ahead and go into the docks. You're working? My same. Okay, so go ahead and give me uh, your persuasion roll. That's a little better. 16. 16? Okay. Uh, you find five people that are willing to go for the five gold. <laughs> uh, hey Dan. Yep, that is Braxel. <laughs> Hi Dan. Hi Dan. I'm the Soggy. I think I've talked to you before. Uh, he's the one that keeps changing his name. It's now uh, Gatsby. You do realize I'm gonna have to call you Tomo from now on, right, Dan? <laughs> his his name changed like five years. Well, now he's a Tomo Gashi. Uh, G A T J I. Okay. He's a pocket pet. <laughs> so, so what of are you doing for the guys. day? We're going to wait to talk to the guild representative. Waiting for the That's guild. Waiting for the guild. Okay, so you ring on the door. The door opens. Um, it's 
presented by, uh, like, when it's open, it's a man dressed in, like, a, a suit. Can I help? Uh, yes, uh, I just moved in around next door, uh, around the corner from you. And I was just going around looking at all the shops and whatnot here, trying to find out more about the neighbors. And I saw a sign above the door, and I was wondering what your establishment was. Ah. Uh, I'm what most call a private detective. Oh. Oh. Private detective. So what? Get a name. I mean, that's obvious. Yeah. Oh, sir, my name is Tom. It's wonderful to meet you. Yours? My name is Vincent Trench. Vincent Trench. Vincent Trench, P.I. <laughs> yeah, no, I got that. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. And you do investigations of all matters? Yeah. Oh. If anything arises, it would be wonderful to hear. If anything, if you need anything, ring the door or knock on it. Good sir. And hopefully, maybe one day you'll be able to come in for a drink. So, what exactly were you looking for when you knocked on my... Oh, just trying to find out what everything is around here. And well, what for? Just trying to learn as much about the neighborhood as possible. If there's any way that I can develop friendships with the people around us, it's much more peaceful time, right? Mm-hmm. That way there's no animosity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I just met Tally. Uh, Sit down the road, the woodmaker. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. As soon as we get our contract with the carpenters done, I'm hoping to be able to set up a tally to help his help us. Understand. Keep your friends close, right? That is a good statement to keep up. But now that I know we have a private investigator, Said, keep your friends close. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already sitting in your stank bubble. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Anyway, now we have a PI near us just in case anything goes awry. Yeah. Private Jackson. I thought that was the old man that lived in our mansion. <laughs> but, Fred, it was wonderful to get to meet you, and I'm very glad to know we have a good PI in the neighborhood. Much good, sir. You have a wonderful day. And if anybody's looking for something, I'll be sure to send it your way. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he does not offer it. Uh, well, I offer mine, of course. He looks at it and gives like a little. And then I very politely wave, yeah. continuing down the street, learning about the shop. Okay. You go down two more or three more buildings. This one. Yep. Um, the front of the store <laughs> is adorned with a charming sign of a gold dragon curled around a treasure hoard of books and scrolls. Oh. Fairly certain I already know what this is, but I'm going to go ahead and enter. <laughs> uh, inside the shop is decorated with beautiful hardwood. And the earthy scent of old books permeates the air. The library fills two floors of this three story building. Shit. Um, and it looks like it holds more shelving than like it really should. A lot of the shelving looks empty? No. Oh. Like, there's more shelves in the place than what it looks like it should technically hold. Oh, it looks like it might be a lot larger inside than it should be. It's as hard as. Um, Balthazar feels just a little bit uncomfortable in here. When you uh, he gets through the Encyclopedia Ferunica. As you're as you're like walking around a little bit, um, you did notice that a bell rang. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, as you're walking around, uh, the bell did ring when you first opened the door. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, and around one of the shelves comes a gold dragon bowl. Um, and he, can I help you? Uh, yes, I was just uh, going around the neighborhood. A uh, few friends of mine and myself, we just moved into a old bar that used to be around uh, the Rose Gold Manor. And we're going to be reopening it. Now she's wandering around the neighborhood looking at what all shops were doing. And I do believe one of my friends will absolutely love it. Feel free to send your friend this way. My name is Doctor. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> My name is Richard, the page turner. Page, be careful around. Don't turn you around. <laughs> Don't spin you right around, around, baby. <laughs> Give you that nice long cloaca. <laughs> Wonderful to get to meet you. Uh, what all kind of books do you have here? Uh, I have all sorts. Uh, I have a small collection of spell books, uh, novels. Never telling Edward this. <laughs> Any type of novel you can imagine, historical books, uh, everything that is in print that I can get a hold of. Um, out of curiosity, anything about the history of the city? I think there might be a book somewhere. Uh, we do have a pamphlet that was left of by a man named Bolo. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. He's a. I might be wrong. He's a bit more tough. Well, it sold very well for the first uh, while it was here. Uh, if we still have one, it's one. Uh, if you would like it, it's 25 gold. Thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, we are having to set up heavy penalties to uh, get everybody with the uh, guns with the guilds to open up our box. But I'm just going around the neighborhood trying to see what all the shops are doing. It was great getting to meet you, Richard. Uh, if there's any book you need, let me know. I will see if I can broker it for you. Of course, thank you very much. And again, don't forget to know, offer Sam a shake. A shake. Right. And she shows his head, feeling very nervous around with a bunch of big words. <laughs> <laughs> his intelligence is an eight. He is not that smart. <laughs> He also doesn't want to accidentally knock over one of the bookshelves. <coughs> okay. And he just going to continue walking around. Uh, going down to the south road. Yes. Uh, past the entrance that will go to your place. Yes. Uh, which direction you want to go? So, everything on the south road. House, 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 house. Everything on this is yep. house. I'm just going to continue. Okay. Uh, Third building on, yep, that one there. Um, and why couldn't his name be Resner Train? This one catches your attention as um, it's a giant BPJ. Nope. Damn. The uh, third floor of the building is on fire. Is translucent lights. Okay. And you see inside a rainbow of flowers blooming within the third floor. Gonna head on in. It's a shopping episode, guys. <laughs> kind of. Only it's not shopping. We had some feedback. Uh. When you go in, there's a small um, 
disc, uh, and inside there are tons of flowers uh, and herbs. Um, Althazar is going to immediately turn out because he is sneezing like crazy. Okay. So you're not even going to wait? Like, it's, I'm going to be right outside the door, but he is sneezing like crazy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, as you, it is uh, loud. as you are out there sneezing, a um, wood elf with long braided hair uh, walks out <sighs> and like puts a small uh, bottle under your nose. And when you breathe in, it like opens up like everything. Uh, I can smell. I can smell you. And they don't smell good. I'm sorry for uh, causing you issues. Oh, it is not your fault. Very bad of me. Well, I would recommend, uh, and they like hold the the jar up. Uh, to keep a little bit of this around. What is it? Uh, it it's, it's, a, it's a local remedy that I have come up with uh, to, to allow you to uh, be around pollen and uh, plants. Uh, you, you have to breathe it in uh, through your nose, uh, and it, it eventually uh, it, it takes care of everything. Hmm. It's great to know, and I hand it back to him because I haven't paid for it. I'm still outside the shop. Uh, I was just uh, wandering around the neighborhood. Uh, a few of my friends and I, we have just moved into this old school manor, and we are trying to reopen the farm. And I was just going around trying to find all of these different shops and get to meet everybody that was in the neighborhood. Oh. I, well, I, I saw the flowers up top. I should have uh, thought better. <laughs> I don't see why. Local herbs can uh, help remedy a lot of things, That's make a lot of potions for different things. <laughs> it was just, I was absolutely hate to start having sneezing and then right on top of the computer. Uh, what did you say earlier? I think it's say. Yeah, I kind of She that. had it partially. Paula Lefelier. I'm just writing that down as I heard it. <laughs> I've been naming everybody in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at taking notes. I know the feeling. I need to get a notebook. <laughs> so, to keep you from having issues, but uh, yes, this is good. Thank you, Bala. And because I was sneezing with my right. And I will offer my left to shake. My name is Balthazar. It's wonderful to meet you. Bye. Might be a barbarian, but I at least have manners. Yeah. Uh, they look at, they look at your hand, and they... Uh, I, I will pass. It was wonderful getting to meet you. Oh, yes, yes. And once we have the troll stall or manor open again, feel free to come back. Oh, that's just perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, Immediately I, behind actually, her, actually. Actually, not even behind the doors. <laughs> the door facing. points at it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, the back door of yeah. uh, her uh, points directly at it. That's great. Yeah, I get to add in smelling salts. Thank you very much. And one of my friends would be very interested in coming here. He likes to work with uh, different herbs and chemicals. So, thank you very much. Feel free to send anybody back. Of course. We'll, we'll send people for hangover cure so they can come back and join you. <laughs> All right. You get her to work on a hangover cure. Yeah. 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 
Don't let me have ideas of what the knights that are on. Because <laughs> me is part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> and Balthazar's going to continue on the street. So you go down three more buildings? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, coming from all of the windows is smoke and steam. Thing. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was adding in the smelling salts. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and head into Smoke and Steam House. Okay. Um, do we have our own sauna in the neighborhood? Nope. Damn. As you open the door, um, Cannibal's house. The first floor is where a large forge Ooh. Um, <laughs> is situated. Um, you see a fire genasi and water genasi working together uh, on a uh, Piece of armor. I'm going to continue to let them work. I don't want to interrupt. It's nippy. Um, as you uh, go in, the uh, thing turning, thing turning. No, there's no, no sound oh, no whatsoever. Um, the water genasi uh, turns and uh, looks up and like makes a motion to the others and he stops hammering and they, uh, can I help you? Wonderful, there's a smithy in the neighborhood. Uh, oh, this is fantastic. Yes. I, I'm sorry, uh, Few of my friends and I, we just moved into a manor just down the road from us. And I've been going around looking at all the different shops and trying to meet everybody that's in the neighborhood. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, th this is our place. Uh, we are the Steam and Steel. Steam and Steel. Steam. I like it. Uh, this is my uh, partner, uh, Ember. Uh, I am Avi. It's wonderful to meet you, Embry, Avi, Abdul. My name is Balthazar. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I am going to be one of the proprietors of the Throskull Man. They're planning on opening up the bar. Excellent. Uh, is there anything that you need from me? Actually, I would, I, I would love to look at some of your uh, weapons. Uh, we have a large list. Uh, we can make anything uh, that you request. Uh, is there anything in particular you are looking for? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> Great. What'd you say? Great. Great axe. I was about to ask. Uh, do you have anything that is uh, magical from? Uh, no, we are a standard smith. Standard smith. Very good. Uh, we can make any, uh, you need a uh, plate mail, uh, chain mail, or armor. Um, I think we can make any axes, swords, uh, some metal shields, uh, anything that needs to be forged, we are more than welcome to get for you. So, I will not be able to purchase. Day because we are having to kind of penny pinch to get everything set up with all the guilds uh, to open up the uh, bar. But I was wondering, how much would a warhammer cost? A warhammer? Yes. Uh, will it cost you uh, roughly uh, 15 gold? Thank you, Captain. I do have a few friends of mine that actually 
uh, use them for work. Currently, I use a work pick. I used to use a, uh, I used to work for the carnival that's uh, with me now, not the one in Chicago, but the other one. I used to work for them, and I would use the work pick there. But a few of them are starting to get worn out, so if I see them again, I'll definitely send them up to you for uh, touch ups and whatever you need to do. Thank you very much, Embry. Have a wonderful day off my hand and shame. Uh, they look at theirs and they, it's the whole like, they're questioning whether they should shake yours, not because you're dirty, but because they are like covered in soot and. If anything, I work part time with the ducks, I worked at the carnival, so it doesn't matter. Then he, they both offer their hands. And if for any reason you need some heavy lifting done, feel free to call us. I'd be happy to help. Uh, we, we definitely do. Thank you very much. And I head out and continue. We have a smithy, uh, an yes, apothecary, sir. a library, and a PI, and a carpenter. Yes. That is basically it. Thank you. Sweet. That probably would have taken the majority of the day. Yep, that takes up a good portion of your day. For the people waiting on the guild. Yup. Um, you wait a good portion of the day, mm -hmm. and the first person to show up is not a guild person. It is a young, like, steward. Okay. And uh, he has with him uh, a scroll, uh, and uh, he's a uh, star. Uh, a sir has asked me to bring you these, uh, and you must sign, and uh, I am to notarize your signature, and, and, and then we shall uh, pass along our funds. Okay. Mind if I give you a quick read? Just to make sure? It is customary. All right. I'll be out there. I'll be very happy to help you, sir. Uh, in it. Uh, it's everything that you agreed to, except instead of 10%, it says 50. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Balthazar straight up would have ripped that from her hands when he saw it, read it, and changed it. Whatever that one is, to a 10. <laughs> yeah. No. It would have I'm gone okay from giving 10 him to 20 or 15 to 25. Yeah. I'm okay giving him 15 instead of 10. Uh, so when you sign it, the, the uh, guy. Pulls out a uh, seal mm -hmm. and like plops it on, and then he takes like a small hammer and like hammers it down onto it, and uh, he oh, rolls it up, puts it mm -hmm. in his pocket, uh, into his pouch, mm -hmm. and then he reaches back into the pouch, and he sits there for a second with his hand in it, and then he pulls out a small bag of gold, Sweet. and then uh, sets it down. Thank you. Full plate? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? We might be able to afford As that. As you start that. counting, he leaves. Yeah. I figured he would. I wonder if he was waiting for a tip. He ain't got enough to tip right now. <laughs> um, it's 600. Okay. okay. Because I knew he said he might not be able to get it all of it. That's why I'm counting. Yep. Um, you like to be able to go watch it. That's just how high it goes. After a couple of, you know, you, mm -hmm. you're there a good portion of the day. Yeah. And there's a small knock on the door. Oh, come in. Um. Walking through the door is a halfling. Nice to meet you, sir. And nice to meet you. Uh, so, and he's looking around. This is going to be a busy place. So we've been here. Oh. Oh. Wait, I, I am here with Carpenter. You? Wonderful. Uh, Greg will be shortly behind me. Uh, I, I left the building he was at, uh, and he was on his way too. Uh, Greg is with the him. So, I, so let's get our job done quickly so that you can uh, deal with Greg, uh, because Greg does not like to wait. And he okay. yells at me all the time for, for causing him problems. I'm 
sorry about that. We'll try and get it done quickly for you. <laughs> so he starts like wandering through, and he's just going under the tables. And when he goes under some of them, he goes, "Ooh, that that crap," and just keeps going. <laughs> That's what you're here for, crap. <laughs> <laughs> The other side of the table. You're supposed to be diligent, old man. Should have told us to crash. But he's he's going through and like he hops up on top of the bar and like yeah. walks across it and it is like this little weird little scuttle. And then he stops and like he lays down on the bar and taps on it and listens <laughs> to it and he's oh Thank good you for wood termites. good wood. Very good wood. Old wood. Nice wood. He loves me. And he gets up and like keeps scuttling around. Alright. I love this guy. I do too. How long is my belt? <laughs> You're not coming back for a while, buddy. <laughs> he uh gets to the cellar door Tell and he taps Tally. on it mm-hmm. and then he opens it and he listens in and then he right back and he goes in and like you hear the like and he he doesn't even wait. As if you're trying to go behind him, he shuts the door on your foot basically. Oh God, um, <laughs> and it, but the funny thing is, is, you hear the door like, and it sounds like he's hanging from it, like it bouncing bounces. up and down. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it's quiet for a few minutes. You okay? When you Checking open the door, the he's not there. And then he comes up the stairs and he's, your timbers are good. Foundation's good. Keep going. And oh. he like pushes past you and like just, and it is, it's like he doesn't wait. He just like keeps scuttling okay. through the different rooms. Yeah, I'm going with him. <laughs> uh, he, so first floor. We, we good for first floor. Uh, second floor? How, how access? Uh, right behind. Uh, I'll show him the way. He, and he does, basically he goes through every room. And, like, he'll stop at the fireplaces, and he doesn't, like, he looks at the fireplace for a second, and then he looks beside it, and he starts tapping the wood next to it. He doesn't care about the fireplace That's at all. not his job. Yeah. And he's just, like, he taps around it, he climbs up on the fireplace, taps the mantle, taps the, and just keeps going. <laughs> and he, he is an interesting one to watch, because as he's going up the stairs, it is, he'll, he'll take a step up on a stair, Bounce. and then he'll do, like, a little dance. And then he'll take another step, and he does another little dance, and it's just oh, a repetitive. No wonder the innkeeper hates it. Because <laughs> this is going to take fucking forever for every single step. Yeah. No wonder the innkeeper hates it. He's got to be thorough. So, Old Ezra, boy. did you nice. go with them, or did you stay in the uh, inn? Stay there. Okay. Uh, coming in behind him is another, like, and it is, like, they go upstairs, and the door opens after they, like, and you think that it's them coming back, and the door opens, and there's another halfling. This one's got mutton chops. <laughs> and, like, huge So now we eyebrows. see what the halfling's, like, enterprise is. And guild rats. <laughs> no one can hate a halfling. He, but they can set them on fire or burn them with lightning. Or throw them. He uh, looks at the uh, thing and he goes, So, uh, you won't possibly be in here. That's correct. Okay. So, uh, for your guild license, uh, it will cost you 250 gold. I don't mean to take up too much of your time, but is there something we can work out with that? You know, lower price. We're just now getting started, and we have so much to do. Ah. Your, your, your local feed, uh, Based on a uh, section of city, uh, ordinance number 14, uh, it is your tax will be 200 gold, and then another 50 gold for your for your guild membership. Uh, and, and technically, 
and being courteous and waiving the extra 25 gold for your membership gratification. Hmm. We might not need to be an inn. But we, I'm upstairs. Yeah. So. Or we continue to work our ass. Because it is going to require some destruction time before we can take it. Yeah. I understand where the taxes are not going to go. Everybody has to pay their taxes. But as a newer stuff. member of the community it's to, to becoming a merchant, you can understand where I'm coming from, where that 50 might be a little steep. A 50 gold is easily. Uh, Derived from the next day. I think we found the nice non negotiable. We will agree to your price. Before we rent any room, the price will be down. That is fine. So you're not joining the guild today? Unfortunately, that is then, and he like just pops up and turns and leaves and like slams the door behind him. I figured he was gonna be that guy. <laughs> Somebody nicer. I mean, to talk to him. we'll eventually get that paid, but so if we decide to, yeah. Like, well, yeah. Three or four, and we'd probably have to like do two meetings to get that. Um. So you do your little like you mm. work through the house. Yeah. Um, it takes a good like 30, 40 minutes. Uh you That's get just back... for five percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get back down to the uh to the bottom floor mm -hmm. and Ezra is still just sitting there. Okay. Anything happen? Um, the innkeeper's guild came by. And? Their price is a little more than we were expecting. How much? Well, Rainier told us they were got 50 apiece. Roughly. This one was going to be 250. What'd you say? I told them that before we entered, before we rented any rooms out, that that fee would be paid. Okay. We'll have to work on that then. And what was the halfling thing that's doing the carpenter? Uh, he is no, just call him Pippin. No, it's Chedric. All right, uh, Sir Chedric, how much are we looking for for the carpenter fee, guild fee, to get this repaired? So your your full renovations uh, and, and your fees and and, and guild guild operation, uh, it, it it will come um, mm, uh, for for your for 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 us to come in and work, uh, it'll be fifty gold, uh, for for us to, to come in and do the work, uh, for full innovation, uh, we can have a, a group in here and and, and fin finish all, all work, uh, for uh, uh, one thousand and fifty gold. Uh, and, and you can you can tip us uh, an extra hundred gold, and we can get it done uh, in in a, in a ten minutes. Uh, so a thousand one hundred and fifty gold will get your your establishment back and ready to to work. Uh, you said a thousand one hundred and fifty. Uh, yes, for for a ten minutes. For a ten minutes. Uh, if if you do not tip us the extra hundred, uh, it, it it will take uh, not not a full two ten days. But close to it. Um. And that's the majority of the work we need done, right? All the woodwork, basically. Out of character. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me deal with my companions and make sure we have all that together. Uh, where's the carpenter's guild so I can bring the paper? Uh, you can find us uh in the uh. Merchant district. Okay. Um, it, or, or if you would like, I, I can I can stop by. Would, would tomorrow work for you? Yes, it would. Uh, uh, how how about uh, uh, a 
around uh, Midsun. That's perfect, thank you. I, I will see you at Midsun tomorrow. Okay. He, like, puts his hand out and, like, shakes it. Sorry. And as he's leaving, he, like, bounces up on one of the... And he's, ooh, you're fun! And he, like, then he keeps going. Okay. What do you have for? So we need the butchers and the butchers, vendors, distillers, and brewers. Is that one thousand one hundred and fifty? Yep. Ten thousand. Um. You wait almost the rest of the day. All right. Uh, and eventually two humans walk in at the same time. Uh, and they, it's two male humans, they both walk in, and they, one of them looks at the other and goes, are you the, uh, new owners of the establishment? I'm one of them, yes, sir. I'm Stealthier. How may I help you? Uh, I am part of the Ventures Distillers and Brewers Guild. Uh, this here is, uh, one of the Butchers Guild members. Wonderful. How nice to meet you. Uh, we... We're hoping you would stop by. Yes. Uh, so, according to what we were told, uh, you're looking for guild licenses and contracts. Uh, your upfront payments would be, for both of us, uh, 50 gold each. Okay. Um, and is that just a basic wine and ale uh, and food? Or? Uh, we will bring you a... Uh, and he turns and whispers to the one guy, mm -hmm. and the the guy is very like he just whispers back to the other one, and he goes, uh, "They, the butchers guild will bring you uh, a different slab of meat a day, okay, uh, for serving. Uh, it is up to you of how you serve it, uh, and then we will provide you uh, with uh, ten days worth of distillery." Uh, Start with, and you must pay for your others as your ten days. Old. How much is it month uh per ten day? Uh, roughly every ten day would be another ten gold. Ten gold? Okay, that's more than manageable, I believe. Uh, yeah, that would work wonderful. Uh, I think we need to probably have the carpenters guild here first to make sure everything's solid. But uh, once we get that done, is are you in the Merchant Ward? Uh, we are, but uh, what we will end up doing is we will assign a particular uh, member to stop by every 10 day to do your inventory. Okay. Uh, and he will also make suggestions and so forth of things to purchase and set. All right. Uh, well, what I'd like to do is once we make sure all the chairs and our core rooms are solid, I will come by and deliver the payment if that's fine. That is I just want to make sure it's safe for everybody. Okay. Just in case. Twenty-five gold a day. So. Well, we got to do a little bit more. Twenty-five gold short. We had a Guess total. Guess who just earned twenty-five gold? We had a total of fourteen seventy-five to start with. Everything. And that's including the 250 for the innkeeper's guild. Oh, wow. And for the 100 extra on the 10 day in payment was 1,500 gold. Damn. Ding, 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 ding. So, are you two going to the fighting pit for the night? Oh, yeah. Going with. Uh, well, I am going to be stopping back in and telling them about cows. Okay. And I will tell them about the process and everything, making sure we work that out. Okay. So, what are you going for the fighting pit for? Watch. Just to watch? You going to bet? Anything like that? Can we bet? Can betting be done on individual rounds? Uh, yes, because it's technically three different battles. Okay. So. 
if you're going to bet, I need to know which one you're betting on. Um, we make it the final two and have a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> and whether you're betting for them to succeed or fail. I'll, and that's that's the only bet that we're taking. What are the odds? Uh, like the I, will, I will roll those randomly based upon each okay. round. I'll go. I'm just going to watch. <laughs> okay. I ain't really got the money to bet right now. Okay. <laughs> None of us do. Well, obviously, he has some sort of money. I'll yes. bet on his strength round for him to win. Okay. Uh, one, bro. <laughs> no, you're gonna roll a twenty. Well, here's the. Uh, oh we'll, shit! We'll do. We'll do those. <laughs> we'll do those bets in just a second. Who wants to go first? Uh, he's first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you, starting sir. on your strength roll. Um, and I will give I you your odds that. with those as well. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Uh, the odds are, before, well, he's already rolled. So. <laughs> oh, I'm not betting on him. Okay. <laughs> Ten. Actually, I'll bet a gold on Brian. <laughs> that shit is so funny. That's a success. Holy crap. Okay. Mm. He probably has some better odds because they saw him uh, lose the night before. Your dexterity. Um, it is uh, four to one against. <laughs> Same thing. Ten. Ten. That's good. Oh shit! I need to get out of D twelve. You're too far, I don't trust your dice. Fair enough. I can't blame you. And your constitution. Uh, this one is. Uh, the odds are one to one. Hmm. That is a twenty-three. Uh, that's a success. Two successes. So you get a hundred gold. Or no, you're not. I'm betting one gold on his strength round. Well, do you want to hear your odds first? Yeah, that's yeah. better to me. Is it a hundred gold? Yeah. Um, what's your strength modifier? Plus five. Plus five. Um, I have a strength. So they're gonna ju- since you've never participated here, they're gonna judge you like size you up for a minute, and odds are gonna be really low because they don't know who he is. He's never participated. So, um, the first one they're gonna give in the strength competition. Uh, if you win, you get double what you. I have a question. I'll do all five gold. Yeah. Could I rage during any of these? Nope. Okay. I wasn't sure. If it was a PvP, yeah. maybe. Yes. But this is a this okay. is a uh... I'll still go ahead and acrobatics. do all five. Acrobatics. Uh... Oh my acrobatics one is gonna suck. <laughs> this is double. Yeah. I'm gonna bet five gold on his strength round. Okay. What are you betting? Uh Two gold. Two gold? Okay, go. Strength. So it's a athletics check, correct? Yep. 23. Okay. So you get 10 gold, you get 4. And that's a win. 50. Acrobatics. Uh, what's the odds? Oh, he's going to tell me the odds. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I know what he's fighting against, and that's what they're basing their odds on. Is like they know their chance of winning and losing. Um, really wish I was level three. Um, what's your dex? My dex is a plus one. I'm so, slow. <laughs> I put my points into being strong and looking pretty. <laughs> um. It's it's still a two to one. I'll do another five. I do five as well. Okay. (sighs) That's ten. That's a failure. You both lose five gold. Last up is your. This is the D twenty plus the hit die roll. Yep. So what's your hit die? My hit die is D twelve. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, here you are. Uh, two to one again. Another. Two against, or? Yeah, if you, if you, well, if you bet him. on him, you'll get double your money back. Oh. If you bet on him, or you'll get double your money. I have 88 silver. I'm 25 bet on that. him? Okay. Do what? I have 88 silver. I'm betting that. Okay, so that's. Eight gold. Eight gold and eight silver. Yeah. Gambling is so much fun. Let's endorse it. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yep. Take oak. Oh. So it just the dice it. plus the hit dice, right? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. die plus your hit. Twenty. That's a success. Yes. Just go on now instead of twenty-five. <laughs> well, that you also get your twenty-five back. So oh, that's really? Seventy-five. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> that's the way. Like you double your money back usually. Otherwise, it's a one for one. Yeah, that so. makes sense. Ooh. It also means your next time through is going to be a lot of one for ones because uh, you get a hundred gold as well. Oh, sweet! For succeeding on two of them. And that ends your night, and it is ten o'clock. Can we go ahead and say we? I finally have more than two gold. You want to go ahead and pay the guilds off the next day? Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll rush through that real quick. You have your meeting with Rainier. Uh, your regular expenses. Mm -hmm. If you purchase people to help keep the bar, so bar wench, bartender, stuff chef. like that, a uh, chef, and people that help keep the maintenance on the building. The it staff. Is Yep, all staffing is 50 gold per 10 days. Uh, and an additional 10 gold per 10, uh, per 10 day for all guild expenses. So that gets you your food and so forth. Yep. So 10 gold per 10 day per guild? Uh, yes. Okay, so 40 gold. Well, you'll no longer need to do the carpet. Well, 20 yep. if we decide to stay on. Yeah. Which I we decide to talk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's up to you guys. I mean, we only have we like only three have like four. Three we need to make sure rooms. we're going to get patronage before we pay out the year. Because otherwise, like, sort of no one might not want. Otherwise, we need to like occupy that entire room with a couple of us and this with a couple of us. And then we only have two. Oh, that's right. But again, we're back to zero. We'll we have like three night night for the power so. <laughs> I don't think uh, that ends for just keeping this bar. For now. Yeah. Well, keep in mind that the innkeepers thing is also part of being a king. Oh. Uh, um, you do not have to be a guild member. Highly recommended that you are a guild member. Is one of the, I thought we had to be with the innkeepers guild if we rented out the rooms, but we didn't have to be with the innkeepers guild if we didn't rent out the rooms. It's and it's a it's that the legal way to do it. Yeah, is what I was asking. And it might be beneficial to get our name added to the list yeah. of guild so we just go ahead and do it. We just might yeah. not rent out. The rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If somebody asks, we got a couple of. Extra We've got a couple extra rooms, rooms and they're at a premium and because we don't all have that spells, many. We can kind of like at the end of night clear out the main room somewhat and put down some pallets or whatever. So you guys are just paying people to, to fix up the, the building? Uh, are we going to get pallets? Pallets will actually cost you a little extra. A little extra? How much is a little extra? Um, you need to seize. Um, it'll cost you an extra 25 gold for Tally. I will chip in that 25 gold for Tally. Yeah. Okay. Specifically Tally. I told him that we would talk about that. Okay. So that you guys know how tavern keeping expenses work. You're going to, you're paying, are you paying it for it to be done in, ten, in a 10 day? Yeah, that's what 
what brought it up. Oh, okay. okay, so you're paying no, for this 10 day and all your license, which will take care of all your one time expenses. Every 10 day you got to make, you have to be able to pay your hirelings, which will be 50 gold, mm -hmm. and your. And your guild expenses, which is 30 total. Right. So we're looking 50 gold every 10 day, or 80 gold every 10 day. Right. At the end of every 10 day, it is a D100 plus 10. And then we consult a chart to whether you lose or gain money. Um, you can spend money promoting your business for every gold you spend promoting your business, you get to add one to your to that roll. Um, if you have unpaid expenses, you will be removing one for uh, for the roll for each gold that you owe. Yeah. So if you owe if you owe eighty gold. And you don't you're pay that subtracting 80, you're subtracting 80 from and that. How much per month or 10 day does 80. Rainier require to pay him off in a timely fashion? Rainier never gave a. He did not Wait, give a stipulation. He said he came on by. That. Yeah. That's He's working out the. Rainier did not give us a stipulation of how long it had to be paid. Yeah. Just his interest got covers his bar tax. Yeah. Okay. So he's. he's in, 15 percent. Which That's, we were talking about giving him 50 gifts for each day. We'll eventually pay him back. Yeah. But it's not an immediate thing. There's nothing in the contract that changed by the way. No. Nope. So, at the end of, uh, at the start of next adventure, or next week, we will start where the 10 day has passed. Okay. Have an idea of what your characters might want to do for that 10 day. Um, if there's any skill challenges, we'll condense them down to one skill challenge for whatever. Um, but for the most part, I figure you're going to also, because part of that 10 day is you working on getting stuff and putting stuff together as well. So you don't have a lot of spare time now that you've gained your money. You're going to be working. So you can have a few things, but not. Trying to find the. Uh, what is it to learn a new skill? I can't remember. Do you? Oh, it's a lot. Okay. I think it takes a long. Yeah, 5th edition is horrible on learning skills and everything like that. Which one to be on the list? Running a business. Um. So, basically, you start gaining a profit. Here, here's the way that it's going to work. <laughs> um, so, your profits will help offset your maintenance. Mm -hmm. So, that 80, that 80 gold of maintenance. So if you roll really shittily, uh, you must pay one and a half times the business maintenance cost for each of these days. Uh, and that's basically one of those, like, you roll shitty and, like, the bar had a bar fight and you're having to repair it. Okay. Okay. Um, you can, if you roll really high, the business covers its own maintenance cost for each of the days, so it covers the 10 days. And it earns a profit of 3D10 plus uh, times 5. Ooh. So. Nice. Yeah. And if you roll in the middle, it breaks even? Uh, if you roll dead in the middle, the business covers its own maintenance cost for each of the days. Yeah, okay. So it is a possibility that you can always gain money. It's also a possibility that you're going to have always to lose. Yeah, yeah. foot your own bill. So that's where. Once the once your first ten day, so once you've got the business, that's when we'll start doing rolls again because then you're gonna have you have people helping run the place, and you're gonna have to make your own money to help pay them. To supplement. Maybe one yep. day we can hire a bar. 
At least maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day we can hire a bard to run the bar. Uh, well, we would least... have our own bard tender, and I will start writing that shit up. Hey, Brian, at least for the moment, we don't have to hire entertainment for Fuck most that. of the night. Hey, at least NPC for the moment, we don't have to hire much. any. Yeah. You offer some hangover drink. True, you have that less restoration mm-hmm. shite. And fame. The... Oh, by the way, uh, Ezri, I found a couple shops you'd be interested in while wandering around. I checked out our neighbors. That's why I said down. Down the road from us, see the woodwork. Um, we have a private investigator along the street. Uh-oh. His name is uh, Vincent Frank. What's he look like? <laughs> Ezri, <laughs> we have a gentleman by the name of Richard Page Turner. He owns a library down the road. So, <laughs> it's kind of weird. It looks a lot bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. There's a dust shit and I swear to shit. fucking Christ, <laughs> if you do not actually do your job here and you spend all your time in here, we will cut you out of the rocks. There's also a uh, lovely wood elf lady named uh, Paula uh, Lafelier. She has a flower and herb shop literally right there. Hmm. Uh, and then, of course, there is uh, the Steam and Steel. There's the Smithy run by two Ganatis. Just down the road from us, around the corner of the, the, the uh, Flowers and Herbs shop. Are they just standard blacksmith? Uh, so far, but they create the engine. Mm. I saw suits of armor in there. They were talking about the very good chain mail that they do. And uh, I asked him about uh, making me a forehammer. In the sticks, I used to put up tents. Right. Well, I think you need that now. You put down the just for um, no, is there a place that we have to do submissions for advertisements, or do we just uh, there are different broadsheets which are newspapers. Uh, uh, you, you can go to you can go to all the I different think. newspapers and spend basically you can spend money at them to like buy. Uh, like a regular newspaper. Yep. About five of them? Uh, There's more than that. Oh. Here we go. I actually have a list of all of the broadsheets. I made 150. In. You did this one more than I thought. But I bet on you. I didn't bet on shit. Yeah. Uh, there are a total of still broke. I have 17 reoccurring broadsheets. There are also some unknown broadsheets, aka they're like one offs. So they might like print the something. Dreadful. Yeah, they might print something and it they don't make it a lot of money, so then they're out of business. Or they're underground with the uh selling smut. <laughs> and smut seller. Caleb will be there. One of my rumors happened to make it on one of the pages in that That's <laughs> <laughs> Rumor starts house Rumor. war. Lady of the Lane murdered by husband. Can you believe this? Tonight at 11. Usually after a big payoff like that, I try to take it a little easy because people might be looking for people that are listening to rumors. It's not a good deal. So, are there any murders in the broadsheets? That was something I, I while I was looking up how to um, how your business runs, uh-huh. there's actually a section in here of how to properly do carousing, which is what you were doing. Oh, yeah, I remember you said that. Um, yeah, I didn't even know, like, I completely forgot about that. But, like, some of your, you, you could have ended up with jail time or uh, regain, this is a good one, you regain consciousness in a strange place with no memory of how you got there, and you've been robbed of X amount of money. Oh, my gosh, you'd be flown. <laughs> yeah. You get flown. There's actually a uh, thing in there about like doing crime, like if you want to rob somebody. Yeah. Like, like a specific merchant or something. You want to build. I want to rob home. Gilmore. <laughs> huh? I want to rob Gilmore. Yeah, you have fun with that. Yeah. Just glorious goods. He yeah. wants the glorious so, good in his robe. Yeah. So. I want to thank everybody for coming in and uh, watching.
If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, smash the like and subscribe. If you have the chance, come over to uh, the uh, Twitch stream and hit Shit the follow sense. button so that you can uh, be notified when we go live. I'm Shinigami Tavris, also known as Boomer. Thank you guys so much for coming to our D&D uh, &D game. Hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are. And until next time, everyone, peace. Night.